Hey, what's going on guys? Aram Case here and today I'm gonna show you how to do this cool thing from the Pulp Fiction. <laughs> well, that was cool. Ezekiel 2517. Gotta love classic. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this and by the way, if you're wondering how to do the dedicated screen like I have it in the back over here in DaVinci Resolve. Watch my previous tutorial. I show and explain exactly things you need to do in order to get this kind of setup going on for your color grading. So I'm going to put links somewhere on top over here. Make sure to click if you want to see it. Otherwise, continue watching the tutorial. Anyways, so I have this clip over here of a soldier. Pretty cool. It's already been color graded. I've shot it many years ago. And basically, I'm going to show you how to do this cool thing. Now, it's very similar of how I did the mats in my older tutorials. But for those of you who requested uh, how to add like film grain and all that, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this. So here's the fun part. Okay. So let's get started. Let's go to the media panel. And in the media panel, locate the effect that you desire. For example, something like different color burns. Like, this one looks very similar to the one in the Pulp Fiction. <clears throat> so, let me use this one. And, by the way, this kind of film burns you can purchase separately. You can download. There's a tons of material online. So, it shouldn't be a problem. They're called, like, film clutters or film burns. So, I'm sure you can find it. Anyways, so let's say this is the film burn that I want to use. Or, it could be the film grain. So, you know, one or two, whatever. Use your imagination. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to select add to media pool as mat. Okay. So I'm going to select that. And now we have this little clip over here with that little mat sign. You can see it right over here. Anyways, I'm going to go back on the color. And let's say, you know, you're doing your classical color grading. Let's say for the sake of tutorial, let me do, let me do something like that. All right. Let's say I'm happy. It looks great. Now I want to add that cool effect. So what I do, I'm going to create a new node and I'm going to convert it into layer node. Okay. And in the layer node, I'm going to right click and at the bottom, I'm going to choose add mat, timeline mats, and I'm going to select that clip that I have. And as of right now, you may think that nothing is going on, but if you look closely at the bottom, you can see that clip playing back. Now, in that layer mixer, let me select this little thing over here and let me click, let's say add. Okay. And now that way you can see it better. We have this whole thing selected and it kind of looks really ugly what's going on. So we added matte as black and white. Now, if you want to add actual color, like for example, if you're adding film grain, I think that should be fine. If you want to add the color, then one more thing you need to do. So. We added this thing and we clearly see that little square going on. Obviously, because it's old bats, it's not even HD. It's like 480 or 720p, something like that. Anyways, okay. So, um, select this mat, first of all. And over here, by default, you're going to have lock mat. So, uncheck this thing. That way you can zoom in a little bit and basically move it around or do whatever you got to do. Let's see. Pan. Yeah, there we go. It's moving. So let me zoom in full screen. Okay, that looks great. And now if I want to get that actual film burn color, what I'm going to need to do, I'm going to select this line right here and I'm going to delete it. And in that mat, at the very bottom, there's that little wheel and I'm going to connect that wheel over here to a layer. Okay, just like that. And now we can see Hold on, let me scroll forward a little bit. That we have Matt actually applying to our footage. Now, obviously, it looks a little bit extreme. Your blending mode, it's up to you. For example, I had over here Add. Let me try to do Screen. Okay, that's not what I want. Let's try Overlay. Okay, Overlay kind of acting like a little soft light. So, that doesn't look too bad if you want that particular effect. But for the sake of tutorial, let me leave it on add and then we can figure out. Okay. 
So that is great. But let's say I want to keep this thing only for a certain amount of seconds. I don't want this thing, you know, keep playing back. So what I do, um, let's see here. I'm going to, let me move this thing around on a separate screen. Okay, so we have over here a keyframes. I can actually animate this thing. So let me, let me select all this and let me do create compound node. Okay, so this is my compound node. Uh, think of it as a folder or a group. Okay, and let me rename this. Let's see, change label. I'm going to call this Pulp Fiction Effect. All right. And now, if you can see here, I have that Pulp Fiction Effect right over here. So, for example, if I want to animate this thing, I need to make sure I'm going to click here. And by the way, key output, let me start with zero. So I'm going to click on auto key. And let's say I want to do add dynamic keyframe. So I'm adding dynamic keyframe. And basically what I'm going to be doing right now, I'm going to be automatically adding to the keyframes. And let's say I want to bring back a little bit of that Pulp Fiction effect. Uh, let's say something, let's see. Let's say like this, so I can stretch this thing. Okay, that looks fine. Let me add another dynamic keyframe. And let's say I don't want it anymore. I'm just gonna go back to zero. And as you can see, I successfully animated the animation of this film clutter going in and out. Obviously, depending on your project, you can choose whatever you want the timing to be. But that's pretty much how you add either film grain uh, some visual effect mat or something like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon.